Hey everyone! It's your tag girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, may panibago na naman tayong unboxing and review. And nakita nyo naman sa title, meron akong surpresa para sa inyo. So, abangan nyo until the end of this video para malaman nyo kung ano yung aking munting surprise. Alam nyo guys, ang tagal kong inabangan tong video na to kasi finally dumating na yung ating pre-order ng Samsung Galaxy A50s from Abenson. Yes guys, Samsung Galaxy A50s. Probably sa mga naka-Samsung Galaxy A50 dyan naguhulat, what? Meron agad upgrade from the Samsung Galaxy A50 eh hindi pa nga lumilipas ang isang taon. Pasensya na po, that's how fast technology works. So, ang sakit man, pero kailangan nating tanggapin na may panibago na namang smartphone. Nabili ko po ang Samsung Galaxy A50s from Abenson. Actually, ang Abenson yung bago kong paboritong store kung saan pwede akong bumili ng mga smartphones na pwedeng i-review para sa inyo. Bakit ko naging paborito ang Abenson? Una sa lahat guys, meron silang 120 stores nationwide. Pangalawa, pwedeng pwede rin tayong mag-shop online sa kanilang official website na www.abenson.com. Pangatlo guys, ang dali ko lang nabili itong Samsung Galaxy A50s. Meron silang iba't ibang klase ng payments options like pwede kayo mag-cash, pwede kayo mag-credit card, and even financing. And lastly, ito, ito talaga yung reason kung bakit napabili ako sa Abenson. 100% original po lahat ng products na meron sila. They have warranty and hindi lang po Samsung devices yung mabibili nyo sa kanila. They also have Apple. Yes, may Apple products po sila. They also have Huawei, Vivo, Oppo at marami pang iba. Ito yung itsura ng paper bag ng Abenson. Abenson po at hindi Abensons. Ang dami kasing nalilito na iba dyan na Abensons ang pronounce. Dati ganun din yung pag-pronounce ko but at least alam na natin wala pong S sa dulo. Anyway, ito guys ang ating Samsung Galaxy A50s. Eh, nagamit ko na siya for like 2 to 3 days pero i-unbox ko pa rin to para sa inyo para alam nyo kung ano yung laman of course. And you can now pre-order the Samsung Galaxy A50s to get the free Fit or the Samsung Fit E. And then, ito na yung ating pag-giveaway. Ang nakalagay is for amazingly awesome fun from Abenson. Yes! May another giveaway na naman tayo. At bonggang bongga to. Kailangan ko pa ba sabihin yung clue? Or it's pretty much obvious na kung anong mapapanalo na nyo. Para malaman nyo guys, watch until the end of this video. Watch my full review para makasali kayo sa giveaway. And the Samsung Galaxy A50s retails for 18,000 990 pesos. Before, ang price ng A50, yung kanyang predecessor, kung nagtataka lang kayo, is 17,990 pesos. As you can see here from our secondary camera, we have here the box of the Samsung Galaxy A50s. For a closer look, guys, ganyan po yung itsura niya. Medyo nag-iba siya from the box of the Samsung Galaxy A50. Sorry guys, wala na yung box sa akin. At wala na rin yung mismong A50 sa akin ngayon. So, sana na i-compare pa natin siya. But anyway, I'll do my best para mabigay sa inyo yung differences na meron siya with the previous one. At ito yung free na nakuha natin from the pre-order from the Abenson. May kasama siyang Samsung Galaxy Fit E. Upon opening the box, guys, ayan, makikita nyo, wala na yung smartphone. Bakit? Nandito siya. <laughs> Ito guys, yung Samsung Galaxy A50s. Mamaya na na la la la. Oh, mamaya na mag-focus sa phone na excited ako. Kasi actually, kung maaalala niyo ang Samsung Galaxy A50s po, isa siya sa pinaka naging best seller ng Samsung. Sa loob meron tayong another maliit na box. Nasa ibabaw siya kapag A series usually doon nakalagay. We have here a free clear jelly case from Samsung. We have here the quick start guide and you also have here the warranty card. We have here a fast charging power brick from Samsung. We also have here a USB Type-C cord from Samsung as well. USB Type-C rin naman yung previous A50. The Samsung Galaxy earphones and don't worry may headphone jack pa rin tayo. And lastly, yung ating famous panundot, the SIM ejector tool. Na guys, ito na ang Samsung Galaxy A50s. Ang kulay na meron ako is Prism Crash Black. Again, ang sabi ko nga kanya, black yung meron ako. Pero mapapansin nyo guys na meron siyang mga diagonal cut sa kanya. And may, hindi siya purely black. May mga pagka-gray siya. Iba-ibang shades ng black. And then kung mapapansin nyo kung saan yung itatapat, whenever natatapatan siya, I guess, ng ilaw, meron siyang rainbow effect doon. And sobrang ganda niyang tignan. Mas maganda siya 
from the Samsung Galaxy A50 na color white na sobrang gustong-gusto ko yung kulay. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, walang masyadong difference talaga sa likod ng A50s from the A50. Same triple camera setup. Magkaiba nga lang ng megapixels. Pero sa likod niya, meron pa rin tayong Samsung logo here. Glastic pa rin siya. It looks like glass pero it's made of plastic. So, good job, Samsung. Sobrang na-appreciate ko yung kanyang bagong design sa likod. To some people, it doesn't really matter to them kasi nga, tinatakpan naman nila ng case. Pero to some, like ako, babae ako, yung design niya sa likod, it really matters to me. On the right side of the phone, meron po tayong volume rocker and power button. Same with the A50. And then on the right side, wala pong kahit na ano except yung kanyang SIM card tray. And huwag kayong mag-alala guys, dual SIM yan and expandable storage pa. Then sa ibabaw niya, meron po tayong noise cancelling microphone. Lastly, meron po tayong headphone jack, USB Type-C port, microphone, and the speaker grill. Mag-rely na lang tayo sa memory na naaalala ko at sa specs niya. On paper, it says there na mas manipes ang A50s with the A50 and I think that... Tama naman, medyo may pagkamanipes nga itong A50s and I really like the feeling of holding the device. Sarap siyang hawakan, manipis lang at madaling ilagay sa bulsa. Hindi ganun kalakihan. Kung baga sa isang smartphone, perfect na perfect yung size niya. Noong unang binuksan natin yung unit, sobrang crispy niya, sobrang bright. And that is because Super AMOLED display or Super AMOLED screen ang meron siya. It measures 6.4 inches. And for the resolution, meron po siyang Full HD Plus at 1080 by 2340 pixels. You can find the notch here sa kanyang ibabaw guys at doon din natin makikita ang kanyang front camera. Meron din tayong in-display fingerprint sensor again. From the A50 guys, meron tayong in-display fingerprint sensor and we all know na medyo konti lang naman, medyo may kabagalan ng A50 na fingerprint sensor ha. And according to them, nag-improve na daw ang kanyang in-display fingerprint sensor. So let's see and ipapakita ko sa inyo kung nag-improve nga talaga. Isa pa. Well, yes, I can say na nag-improve ang kanyang in-display fingerprint sensor. Pero if i-compare natin siya with other smartphones with the same price segment, medyo mapag-iiwanan pa rin ng A50s. Yung chin niya sa ilalim, guys, hindi naman siya ganun na makapal compared sa other smartphones. And the bezels, don't worry guys, manipis lang sila. And even yung nasa ibabaw niya, you barely even see it there. And same with the predecessor ng A50, naka-corning Gorilla Glass 3 din po ang A50s. Out of the box guys, ang A50s, meron siyang Android 9 Pie with Samsung's One UI on top. According to Samsung guys, yung One UI ng Samsung Galaxy A50s, much updated siya compared sa kanyang predecessor na A50. Bakit? Yung sa A50s po, same UI na nagre-run sa Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Just the usual, may mga apps siya katulad ng Google Apps, Microsoft, and yung mga third-party apps like Netflix, Facebook, Lazada. Alam nyo guys, I'm one of the biggest fan of One UI. Kaso lang yung mga parts na hindi ko lang nagustuhan with the One UI. Siguro dahil hindi lang talaga ako fan ng bigger icons. And masyadong wide yung spacing nila between the apps. Pero buti na lang, pwede natin silang i-adjust sa settings. Actually guys, kapag hinold natin yung ating power button on the right side, ayan, hold natin, lalabas na yung Bixby guys. So kung gusto natin i-turn off yung device, all we have to do, kailangan lang natin gawin, ibaba natin yung kanyang quick toggles, tapos sa ibabaw nun, mapapansin nyo, nandun na yung ating power button. Ayan, may napindot ako. Ayan guys. But I think guys, mapable naman yung kanyang power button on the right, kasi with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, pwede namang baguhin yun. So I think, that goes the same with the Samsung Galaxy A50s. Also, may bago rin pala sa kanya. Meron tayong edge panels feature na tinatawag. Which most of the time nakikita natin to sa mga medyo high-end devices. Anyway, for the cameras naman, pag-usapan natin to kasi ito yata. Or dito natin makikita yung kanyang big upgrade from the previous device na A50. Before, triple camera setup. Now, triple camera setup pa rin naman. Pero, meron na tayong 48 megapixels. Main camera, 8 megapixels ultra wide, and lastly, 5 megapixels depth sensor. And improved na rin yung ating front facing camera. We now have 32 megapixels. Before, meron tayong 25 megapixels, 5 megapixels, and 8 megapixels. 
alam nyo yung quality ng photos ng Samsung Galaxy A50s, na-impress talaga ako, parang pakiramdam ko, nagsiselfie ako sa S10 before. Very sharp talaga yung kanyang details. Kung isuzoom natin, makikita nyo yung mga buhok kong alam nyo na taas-taas dahil um, dry. Pero at least na-capture nyo yun. And hindi ganun ka, alam nyo na mukhang edited yung photos natin. I really like how Samsung yung mga selfies na kinalalabasan. Now let's go sa kanyang cameras. Ito yung reason para sa akin siguro if you really want to upgrade from your A50 to A50s. Kung talagang importante sa inyo ang camera at gusto nyo lang magstay sa A50 level. For the primary rear camera, okay na okay yung sample photos natin especially in daytime. For the wide-angle camera, alam nyo na kung gano'n ako ka-fan, kahit na anong smartphone, ito talaga hinahanap ko ang wide-angle camera. Why? Mas okay kasi yung perspective, halos lahat nakikita, pag-selfie, lahat na isasama, kapag naman rear camera, lahat ng gusto nyong like buildings, ang ganda-gandang tignan kapag wide-angle camera ang ginagamit. Well, with the A50s, okay na okay naman siya in daylight at some point, pero at night, medyo nag-struggle na yung wide-angle camera. Medyo maraming noise talaga. Actually, yung night mode naman niya from the A50, I can say na nag-improve naman siya. And, kinumpare natin yung night mode sa normal mode, at kung mapapansin nyo sa photos natin dito, malaki talaga yung pinagkaiba nila. And shoot up to 4K at 30 frames per second. Actually, yung kanyang video recording, hindi siya ganun ka-impressive, at huwag kayo masyadong mag-expect. Pero kung gagamitin nyo siya in daylight, suwak na suwak lang siya at kung gusto nyo siyang gamitin pang vlog, I can really recommend this device. By the way, yung variant para na meron tayo is 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Alam nyo, sobrang na-curious ako sa Samsung Galaxy A50s kung ano nga bang in-improve niya or kung ano nga bang nagbago, especially sa performance compared sa kanyang predecessor na A50. Siyempre, kahit na 1,000 pesos increase lang yon, kailangan pa rin natin ma-justify, ba? Diba? Previously, ang Samsung Galaxy A50 naka Exynos 9610 siya. And now, the Samsung Galaxy A50s, it now has the Exynos 9611. Actually, very unexpected to kapag general use lang. Medyo naka-experience ako ng medyo may kabagalan sa device na to. And compared to the Xiaomi Mi 90 or the Redmi K20 na halos ka-price lang ng Samsung Galaxy A50s, continuously guys, naglaro ako ng Asphalt 9 and Mobile Legends kanina. Actually, continuously, I think kahapon niya tayo, naglaro tayo continuously ng... Um, Asphalt 9 and Mobile Legends. And medyo naka-experience lang ako ng may pagka-warm sa bandang ibabaw niya. And speaking of Asphalt 9, medyo alam niyo na napakatagal bago ko na-download yung larong yun every time na mag-review tayo ng smartphone. Pero gustong gusto ko, bakit sobrang lupet ng graphics ng game na yon And even yung, yung laro mismo, it's just really fun to use. Meron siyang 4,000 mAh battery capacity with 15 watt fast charging. Pero pansin ko lang guys, when it comes sa kanyang battery life, parang mas nag-perform ng mas okay yung A50 ko isa sa A50s. Pero I'll give this device a chance since 3 days ko pa lang naman siya nagagamit. Yung A50 medyo tumagal sa akin. And ngayon wala na kasi siya. Pero masasabi ko lang na medyo mas matagal kong nagagamit yung A50 kaysa sa A50s. Although same battery capacity lang meron sila. Thankfully guys, kahit pa paano mabilis siyang mag-charge, for around 30 minutes, nakakuha tayo ng 40% of battery charge. For my overall usage with the Samsung Galaxy A50s, guys, ito, final verdict na tayo. Para sa akin, there's not really much difference with its predecessor na A50. But I can say na yung kanyang price increase na 1,000 pesos is kahit pa paano, okay lang naman, lalo na kung nagmamatter sa inyo yung camera and faster and display fingerprint sensor. And if you really want to have that kind of camera, then go upgrade, lalo na kung galing ka sa A20 or sa A30. Pero kung galing kang A50 at mag upgrade ka sa A50s, I really suggest na just skip the A50s. Alam niyo guys, I can't help but compare the Samsung Galaxy A50s sa iba pang devices na halos ka-price segment niya lang. At minsan pa nga, medyo mas mababa pa. Like yung K20. And mas powerful yung processor noon. Better material quality, notch less screen. Pero kasi if you're really into Samsung at gustong gusto nyo ng in-display fingerprint sensor, the One UI, then bobili kayo ng Samsung Galaxy A50s. Basta ang suggestion ko lang, katulad ng sinabi ko from my review ng Samsung Galaxy A10s. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, link here. 
Pero yung sabi ko nga doon, kung gusto niyo mag-upgrade from the A50 to A50s, wag na lang. Pero kung galing kayong A10, A20, A30, A30s, kung meron na kayo, tapos gusto niyo mag-A50s, I really suggest na, okay, sige, go. And tingnan niyo naman kasi rin guys yung design. Sobrang ganda, di ba? Sobrang attractive. Now, let's go sa ating giveaway. Ayan guys, mapapansin nyo na nakalagay for an amazingly awesome fan. Pasensya na guys, or yung iba baka nagtataka, bakit lagi ka nagpapag-giveaway? Bakit? Kasi very generous yung mga brands na nakikipag-collaborate sa atin. Gusto nila, hindi lang ako yung binibigyan kung hindi kayo rin. So, share your blessings. And, hindi natatapos ang giveaway guys. We have here a Samsung Galaxy A50s giveaway. Wow guys, sobra. Grabe, sobrang generous ng Abenson. Thank you for making this. Buksan natin. Pasensya na. Bubuksan ko para makita nyo na totoo yung sinasabi ko. We get the same device. Ayan. A50S. Same tayo ng kulay. Ito yung sakin. Ito yung box ko. Baka lang isipin nyo. Ayan. Ito yung box. Ito yung box ko. Ito yung para sa inyo. This one is sealed. Now, for the mechanics, all you have to do, guys, is unang-una, of course, importante to. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Pangalawa, all you have to do is follow me and Abinson PH on IG. Ilalagay ko po sa baba para hindi kayo malito or magkamali. Pangatlo, of course, like and follow my Facebook page, Mary Bautista YT. Link down below as well. Pangapat, share this video on Facebook. With the hashtag Abenson X Mary Bautista and hashtag Abenson. And lastly, all you have to do is comment down below. Uulitin ko, bakay yung iba kasi hindi na naman maintindihan yung mechanics. Kailangan yung mag-comment sa mismo ng YouTube video ko. Kasi iya upload ko nito ng video sa Facebook sa mga nanonood sa Facebook jan. Hello po. And of course, ilagay nyo rin yung inyong IG handle para madali ko kayong mahanap at makontak. That's basically it, guys. Iya announce ko po ang winner on October 12. Oh my God, malapit na po. Halos dalawang linggo lang yung maibibigay ko sa inyo. So, all you have to do is follow the mechanics for a chance to win the Samsung Galaxy A50s. And, iya announce ko po ang winner either through IG or Facebook Live. Yes, live po tayong mamimili. So, good luck to everyone. So, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed. Pasensya na kung tingin ako ng tingin dito bago yung ating camera. Hindi ko alam kung napansin nyo ba yung bagong quality, pero I hope na appreciate nyo. Again, it's your tech girl, Mary. Good luck to everyone and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!